Hi everybody, Josh and Whitney Miller here from Riverstone Kennels and Team Yukonuba. And today we are here with our 12 week old British Labrador puppy named Trixie. What we want to spend some time talking to you guys about is socialization. It sounds like something that is very basic, that is very easy, but I think it's something that's oftentimes taken for granted. It's a huge foundational piece when we look at our puppies and we look forward into their lives. We really want to make sure that we are taking this time seriously and we put an emphasis on it because you never get this time back. So we need to capture this now. When we look at socialization, what it does for us is it creates a really confident and mentally sound puppy. A confident, mentally sound puppy doesn't matter what you're going to do with them. If it's taking them in the field, if it's you know, being a part of the family, going to t-ball games, you know, just being around the house. A confident, mentally sound puppy gets to go more places, gets to do more things, and as a result, has a higher quality of life. That's what we're all looking for. One thing that all of us want to do is we want to make sure that our puppy is great with other dogs. You know, nobody wants to be that dog or that dog owner in the group that can bring, you know, your dog to the party or to the group you know, event because your dog isn't good with other dogs. Well, that starts now and we need to ease them into it to, to build that confidence around other dogs, but we want to do that successfully. What we don't want to do is, is flip a coin and say, hey, let's go up to this random dog and see how this works. We want to set this up to make sure that we are putting our puppy in a positive situation. So let's set it up as, you know, whether it's you know, your family member, you know, it could be a friend, has a dog that you know is a great older dog with puppies. That should be the first dog that you introduce your puppy to. You know, make sure that they get off on the right foot, you know, even though they might be a little hesitant at first because that's a bigger dog, right? If you have a dog that's great with those younger dogs, oftentimes that older dog will, will loosen this puppy up and all of a sudden they're bus buddies, they're playing and this puppy becomes that bigger dog's shadow because you know, they want to go see what they're doing. This is something that we want to encourage. We want to make sure that these puppies are getting as much of this as possible and we really want to avoid any negative situations. Uh, when we talk about negative situations, we think of you know, dogs that could potentially be aggressive, could sniff at the dog, be overly dominant. That's not what we want to do you know, with our puppy at that point because it just takes one negative experience to cause fears. And once we have a fear, it can be extremely difficult to get over that fear. So as many successful situations, as many confident building situations that we can put our puppy in with older dogs, the better. So the first step in this is before you take your puppy out you know, into any kind of environment, make sure that he or she is fully vaccinated and be sure to consult with your veterinarian to make sure that all your bases are covered.